little yellow daisies in this bouquet of flowers. I'm using uh, kind of a cadmium yellow medium and a little small round brush. If they were bigger, I'd use a bigger brush, but this is a little piece. And uh, so I'm stroking from the outside of the petal end. I usually put the center first if it's a full daisy. And when you paint them, you want to paint them in little clusters so that some of them touch. You might do two or three daisies close together and then skip a space and then do another one. And I'm kind of hopping around a little bit because you don't have to fill it up completely. I'm going to add uh, some white daisies in here in a minute. So I've got little yellow ones going in. And I'll come back and do a little bit of shading on the centers in a minute. Well, that looks pretty good. Let's add some white. Well, maybe one more. Look at this thinking. Okay, one more. And you always want a variety of sizes and shapes. So you have some that are just a half of a daisy. And those won't have a center. And then I have some buds. And the buds on daisies really look like just dots. So if you have a bud, you can just put a dot in a little polka dot. And by the time we add a little piece of the calyx and the stem, it will look like... Oops, that won't sound great. <laughs> <laughs> then go into a little white. I'm just going to kind of fill in, but you want to leave some spaces. You don't have to fill it solid. Same little shape using a small round brush. Remember, you always want a couple that touch each other. So as you put one in, you can paint another one partially on top of it. And again, a bud, maybe. And I'm going to turn it. Sometimes as you go to stroke back, it's a little easier to, oops, watch your arm, to put it um, so you're pulling back instead of pushing your brush. You're pulling it a little bit. And let's add another one here. You have to think a little bit about where the stems are going. The stems are going back. Let's do at least one that goes all the way around. That's always kind of fun. Let's see where we're going to put that one. How about let's put that one over here. So it's like putting, putting flowers in a vase. Everybody's going to put them in a little bit different. You'll all place them a little bit different. But they're all beautiful. You can't go wrong. Sometimes I've put one in and thought, ooh, don't like it there. And I might even tap a little more greenery back over one if it really is awful, which can happen. Usually, I just add another one. You know, I can add it partially over another one. It's fine. 